Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Holy Trinity Church in Juneau, Alaska. I'm Father Gordon Blue. Deacon Michael Grubbs is here with me today, as well as Luke Weld on the piano. We bid you welcome. Welcome to Noonday. Today at Noonday, as we do every Wednesday, we will utilize the healing liturgy. And you can find the form for that in uh, <clears throat> on our web page you can download it there at trinityjuno.org it's in the tab marked or in the uh, hot link marked uh, no noonday services and you'll find that they're all there in one document so page through to page 11 of that lengthy bulletin and you will be on the right page with us we give you thanks, O oh God, we give you thanks, calling upon your name and declaring all your wonderful deeds. Let us confess our sins to God. God, God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. O God, be not far from us. Come quickly to help us, O God. Praise, Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. O oh God, be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of your countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth. Let your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. The psalm today is Psalm 14. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. All are corrupt and commit abominable acts. There is none who does any good. The Lord looks down from heaven upon us all to see if there is any who is wise, if there is one who seeks after God. Everyone has proved faithless. All alike have turned bad. There is none who does good. No, not one. Have thy no knowledge, all those evildoers who eat up my people like bread and do not call upon the Lord? See how they tremble with fear because God is in the company of the righteous. Their aim is to confound the plans of the afflicted, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that Israel's deliverance 
would come out of Zion, when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel be glad. Glory Glory to the the one one, and to the Son Son, and to the the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. reading, continued reading in the book of the Acts of the Apostles, beginning at verse 9 of chapter 27. Since much time had been lost and sailing was now dangerous, because even the fast had already gone by, Paul advised them, saying, Sirs, I can see that the voyage will be with danger and much heavy loss, not only of the cargo and the ship, but also of our lives. But the centurion paid more attention to the pilot and to the owner of the ship than to what Paul said. Since the harbor was not suitable for spending the winter, the majority was in favor of putting to sea from there on the chance that somehow they could reach Phoenix, where they could spend the winter. That was a harbor of Crete facing southwest and northwest. When a moderate south wind began to blow, they thought they could achieve their purpose, so they weighed anchor and began to sail past Crete close to the shore. But soon, a violent wind called the Northeaster rushed down from Crete. Since the ship was caught and could not be turned with its head to the wind, we gave way and were driven. By running under the lee of a small island called Cauda, we were scarcely able to get the ship's boat under control. After hoisting it up, they took measures to undergird the ship. Then, fearing they would run on Sirtis, they lowered the sea anchor and so were driven. We were being pounded by the storm so violently that on the next day they began to throw the cargo overboard, and on the third day, with their own hands, they threw the ship's tackle overboard. When neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, and no small tempest raged, all hope of our being saved was at last abandoned. Since they'd been without food for a long time, Paul then stood up among them and said, Men, You should have listened to me and not set sail from Crete and thereby avoided this damage and loss. I urge you now to keep up your courage for there will be no loss of life among you but only of the ship. For last night there stood by me an angel of the God whom I belong and to whom I worship. And he said, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before the emperor. And indeed, God has granted safety to all those who are sailing with you. So keep up your courage, men, for I have faith in God that it will be exactly as I have been told. But we will have to run aground on some island. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. William, I name William. I name Melanie and Melody. I name Oscar, whom I have not seen for some time. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, In you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, 
or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God of grace and mercy, you poured your spirit on high to bless and summon women who heard the strength of your call. Equip, guide, and inspire us with wisdom, boldness, and faith to trust you in all circumstances. Hear you preach new life to your church and stretch out our hands to serve you as you created us and redeemed us in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, one God everlasting. Amen. Lord, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop, Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the, at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. 
Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Amen. Amen. I invite you to bring further prayers, the intercessions that you may wish to be offered. Pray for all the children who should be in school that cannot, that they don't suffer too much in the lack of socialization, that they might find ways to be safe and to socialize and to learn. Pray for all the teachers who would teach them, for all the volunteers who are touched by this peculiar time. Pray for their safety and their sustenance. God, who in your providence called Joseph Sereshevsky to the ministry of this church and gave him the gifts and the perseverance to translate the Holy Scriptures, inspire us by his example and prayers to commit our talents to your service, confident that you uphold those whom you call through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory, in the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A blessing. Live without fear. Your Creator has made you holy, has always protected you, and loves you as a mother. Go in peace to follow the good road and may God's blessing be with you always. Amen.